Shalom, peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Spirit has given me a prayer. I want to read from Psalms 119 to start. And this prayer, which after the reading that I'm going to do, is to the Most High, for the brothers and sisters as well as myself. I'm reading in the book of Psalm 119, starting at the 73rd verse to verse 80. Before we begin the prayer, Psalm 119, starting at verse 73 to verse 80. Thy hands have made and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn thy commandments. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. I know, Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness hath afflicted me. Let, I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause, but I will meditate in thy precepts. Let those that fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies. Let my heart be sound in thy statutes, that I be not ashamed. Let my heart be sound in thy statutes, that I be not ashamed. All right, brothers and sisters, this is a prayer for the brothers and sisters, for the Confederate House of Israel, for myself unto the Most High. God of mine ancestors, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, let now my spirit be moved away and thy spirit come in. Hear thy handmaid, thy servants from on high. Look through eyes with mercy upon us. For unto the merciful thou art mercy, unto the pure in heart thou art pure, and unto the foul thou show thyself foul. Have mercy, God, for our enemies raise up against us to destroy us. But greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. God, we ask that thou be our banner, our lead, our real reward. Come unto us, let thy spirit come down, most high. Yes, God, our enemies come up against us because thine anointing is upon us. But give us understanding. Give us strength. In the night, hear our cry when we cry unto thee, O rock of our salvation. For thou art our king. Thou livest from everlasting to everlasting. There is none greater than thee. Thou art our hope and our stay. Let us not fall before our enemies and be ashamed, for we delight in thy laws, thy statutes, thy commands. Be merciful unto us and forgive us our sins and the sins of our ancestors, Father. As we pray toward the east, thou told Solomon that if we turn toward the east, if we remembered our ways and returned unto you, you would turn unto us. Thou said, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things. Well, we call unto thee, Father. We call unto thee, for there are many enemies who have risen up against us. They were too strong for us, but thou interceded. Thou said, No weapon formed against us shall prosper. It won't work. Blessed be the Lord God on high. As we give thee praise, let our prayer go before thy holy throne. Cast down those strongholds, those spiritual strongholds that have bound us. Look upon us with mercy and remember we are as grass springing up today and gone by tomorrow. Have mercy on thy seed, Father. Remember David. Remember the tribe of Judah. And forgive us here from on high, Father. Let thy glorious understanding and thy wisdom come upon us, Father. Let us know when to speak and when to be silent. Let the tears that fall from our eyes turn to joy. As thou enlighten us, as thou trample down our enemies underfoot. Let the angel of the Lord chase them in dark and slippery places. While thy mercy overtake us. 
Let us dwell with thee. Let thy spirit come in, great and mighty God. Hear from on high. Thou hast given us understanding through thy word, through thy precepts, through thy commandments. And let us give back the honor, the thanksgiving, and the joy that thou deservest. For thou and thou alone art God. Thou art a jealous God. Thy name is jealous. Thou art a father to the fatherless and a mother to the motherless. Be a father unto us, Father. Guide us. Have mercy unto us. And when we seek thee, answer us. Thou said, Seek me while I may be found. Turn unto me and I will turn unto thee. Let thy spirit come upon us. As we lay in our beds, let thy spirit overshadow us. Walk with us. Talk with us. Thy joy, the joy of thy word, the joy of thy spirit is our delight. Leave us not in the darkness. Let not our enemies have power over us for many attack. And many of us don't know why, but the anointing is upon us. Let us conduct ourselves wisely as King David did. Give us the spirit of understanding and the spirit of wisdom. Give unto us the spirit of discernment, God. Hold not our sins against us, but remember the glorious blood of Yeshua HaMashiach that was shed that we may come into thy glorious presence. Let the blood purify us from our sins and look upon us with grace and mercy, Father, and let the judgment be removed from us as we pray thy mercy and walk in the light of thy word. For thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, letting us know which way we should go. And let thy mercy be upon us, God, for without mercy we are all doomed. And we want to give thanks, Father. Let the weapons of our warfare be our praise unto thee. Let us praise thee from on high in the night. Let us walk and talk about thy glory and give honor and glory unto all that thou hast done. For everything we have, everything we are comes from thee. Let us not forget to strengthen and edify one another and be thou merciful. Many of us are under attack, God. Set up a standard against it. When the enemy comes in like a flood, thou said thou would raise up a standard against it. This prayer is for the, our brothers and sisters who are under attack. Attack of our minds, attack of our bodies, attack on our spirits, Father. We know the, prayer, the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous avail of much, even down to the pulling, even to the pulling down of stronghold. We need thy mercy. We need thy mercy, Father. And remember what thou said. Thou will not break thy covenant. Thou wilt remember Jacob and Yasharel and his descendants, his seeds. We are those children, Father. Hear from on high and remember. We call unto you. Let our cry go up and pierce the heavens and come before thee. Hear us as thou did in the ancient days when we were in Egypt. For now we are in that house of bondage again. Hear, Father. Look, hear, and consider. And come unto us. Be merciful unto us as thou awakens us. Teach us. Guide us. Thy law, thy precepts, thy statutes, thy commands are a delight. Let thy spirit speak to us. Let us discern it. Let the confirmations come to us. And give us peace. Let our enemies turn away backwards and be ashamed. And give us victory. Let us run over a wall. Let us run through them as a troop, Father. And we give thee thanks and praise. For our praise is our weapon. And thou art our reward. We thank you, honor, and praise thee, Father. We thank you for your mercy. Our sins are ever before us, but the blood of the Lamb be upon us and cleanse us. And we give you thanks, Father. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Add a blessing to this prayer. To everyone who has come together for this prayer, we thank you for pulling down spiritual strongholds. We thank you, Father, 
because we know that thou art with us and thou delights in us. Praise, honor, and glory unto the Most High God, and blessings and mercy unto the house of Yasharel and all those who follow thee. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, according to the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Shalom. Be edified. Peace.